Welcome back to All Sorts of Sports. All Sorts of Sports. Sports your ass. In your ass. All Sorts of Sports. Okay, you gonna add to it? I never add to it. I just always sit here in disgruntlement and say. <laughs> that's a good, that's so. a good, that's a good word. All, All right. right. So um, we're going to start this off by saying get well soon, Bronny. Um, he had a cardiac arrest. Um, was, I think he was doing like a practice for a um, a tour over in Europe. Forgot where. Um, yeah. And it just happened. And um, what was it? I think as soon as they announced it, they announced that um, he was he was fine, like he was like resting. They didn't announce it as soon as it happened and all that other shit. No, it was after it was the day after. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, get well soon. Like I wonder how that'll affect him going forward. But hopefully, you can just live. I with hope it. It's, I hope it's not something serious or long term. Definitely. Absolutely. I mean, if if Demar is any indication of what can happen after a heart attack, he's back out on the field doing full practices so so okay i just all right yeah that reminds me of a tweet I, that somebody yeah, can we talk about it i think i think we all have the same thought yeah, we they, talk about it? We all I, <laughs> I just like it just because i i would because okay so we love demar right we love demar we're happy he's okay right, nigga, yep, get right? the preface out of the goddamn way let's get to it we're, get, we're glad hey, you gotta start with love bro <laughs> yeah you gotta start with love you the sandwich love. all right let's go we love demar glad he's okay However, Demar was a six-round pick. Yeah, he's not. He's not a great player. Was, don't get me wrong. And <laughs> the tweet just—it was so funny because they said, "I can't wait till they find out that he's not That's good." Good. I was just like, "Yo, yeah. that's what I'm It's like the first time that he gets burnt. <laughs> he, gets, he gets fucking torched. Do we know he be like?" Hey, he could have stayed in cardiac arrest. People gonna be Hamlet talking strong, baby. <laughs> people gonna be talking so much shit, and I feel bad because they gonna say shit like that, and I'm just like, yo. But I hope y'all not expecting this dude to be like y'all best safety. <laughs> like, like it's not. No, that's that, that's that's why he does the under coverages because if someone goes over the top, he, he ain't he ain't getting. He got it. beat on the fucking play. He got hurt on. Like, <laughs> that's just a on, Jefferson bro. touchdown over the top. That's for ruining Thursday night football. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was All the right. only game we had on that night, you sack of shit. God damn it. Calvin, really? I had money on that bitch. But it also could be a thing where he just keeps a job. It could benefit him, and he just ends up keeping the job just because of sympathy. Yeah, oh, cutting him is going to be hard. I mean, yeah, and <laughs> and to make sure he keeps getting uh, his uh, medical. So. Yeah. And when he and when he's out of the league in four years, they'll br- invite him back to be a coach. Yeah, he'll be sure. in the ring of honor. Special teams coach. Yeah. Yeah. Ring oh, of honor. For, too. for sure. Too. And he'll be given away like the meritorious service award at the SBs for yeah, the, the next of- 20 years. Man. Yeah. The, they'll, the, they'll have West Side Gun come up and present with the key to the city. Yeah. Oh, I still can't believe we simultaneously had the exact same. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> I'm I just, was I, I keep Total. staring at that fucking jersey. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So we got football and then other shit. I kind of want to just start with other shit. Go ahead. You're the fuck. It's your, All right. your world, man. Cool. <laughs> so so now nah, let's do football. No, nah, fucking. Nah. nah. So um, I didn't even know about the UFC tonight. Right. I was mainly focused on Spence versus Crawford. Fair. 20, yes. yeah, 20 versus what, 35? I've, I've been wanting this fucking fight for so long, but I don't want this fight either because now I I don't have anything else to look forward to. Yeah, if, they'll split good. decision it somehow and then <laughs> we'll fucking right it, man. What Whoa. the fuck is your Whoa. life, bro? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is, what is wrong with you? Come on, bro. I'm talking <laughs> about the boxing fight. So, no, fuck I have no. nothing no. else to look what forward to. to. What do you mean? Mm, this right. fight will spin off so many. You got Haney and Shakur and like, and you got like Tank. Like, it's so many other fights that are coming. Like, you, you True. tripping. Yeah. But you tri- this one for what are so you talking? Are you, okay? are you are you okay? Like for real? Like are oh. you? No, are his world not? revolves around sports, and now if I'm it's- going for a rough season. I can call you after if you if you need that. Oh, it's after you. Oh, I got his baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who do y'all think is gonna win tonight? 
I don't fucking know. I don't pay attention to shit. I I would imagine if I am uh if I've watched boxing before and I have, <laughs> um, is that nobody's gonna win. Somehow it'll be a split and they'll have a three part series, uh, and the the final fight will be in like twenty twenty five, and then that's when we figure out who won. I follow UFC more than I follow boxing these days. Um, so I didn't honestly hearing about like Crawford Spence is kind of new ish to me. I, I guess the first time I heard about them was, well, I knew of them, but like, like really like got into who they were and shit was probably like sometime last year. So like, I don't, I'm not well versed in anything in their styles and stuff like that. Usually I am with boxing, but they're, they're also not in like my weight, in the weight class I care more about. Um, but like, just from what I've seen, I'm taking Spence. Um, Spence has him on reach. I think from, again, what I've seen, I haven't seen a lot in terms of, I've just seen people kind of talk about them and like highlights and shit like that and like their styles and shit. It makes more sense to me that Spence is going to win. I got Crawford. Okay. Because he's dark. No, he's a bad motherfucker. Okay. Because he's dark. Yeah. No, nah, that that would be something Did that you I video? Him uh, on the 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 little like slingshot yeah. with him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like yo, oh my grandma, he fell asleep. <laughs> he went bro, to sleep, bro. That's such that's such like nigga shit. That shit is hilarious because he was you start talking, but when you see your friends, you're like yo, he fell asleep. <laughs> that nigga fell asleep. He's like yo, wake your ass up. <laughs> bro, 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 the way he fell asleep too, like I'd be scared. I'd be so scared because he went he's he like he was TKO. He was. Yeah, and then like he came back, and then his eyes rolled back his head. I was like, "Yeah, he gone." Bro. <laughs> and the funny shit, he really like kind of holding Crawford hand. At one point, he just started doing this, like, "Yo." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, this shit's so mean, but it's hilarious. Yeah, this is like, um, this is like one of the first like few uh fights I've seen at Earl since the the car crash. Oh yeah, like back in uh, 2019. Yeah, I'm, I was like, shit, I ain't know if he's going to make it. So good to see him back, but yeah. Well, there's also like the whole COVID thing, so there wasn't a whole lot of boxing for a while. Yeah, fair enough. All right, so I didn't know anything about this UFC card, so y'all go ahead and explain it to me. Who's fighting and who do y'all got? I'll back out of this one as well. It's it's such a big card. You going to do it? I'll let Ryan break it down because yeah. I don't... So it's it, not even in the in the I mean it's main card, but this is like the sixth fight is Tony Ferguson and Bobby Green. Yeah. Bobby shout out Bobby Green for forgetting that he DM'd uh the the UFC interview girl and then she responded to him in person four years later and he's like oh damn I shot my shot shit <laughs> and like this was like back when like he, Bobby Green wasn't even a real fighter yet. Uh Derek Lewis his balls are going to be hot. Derek Lewis dropped 30 pounds Yo. and has a six pack. Um, Jan Blakovitz and Alex Pereira, which should be over in about 14 or 15 seconds. Uh, and then Dustin Poirier and Gaethje are is the uh, main. That's fighter. the one. And that's, that's the one. Should be a bloodbath. That Where are, you watch- are y'all uh, watching the fight at bars or what? Uh, I'm going to the house most likely. And uh, I'm excited because they're going to have both fight, the, both like. The boxing and UFC shit. Okay. I'm at the uh, I'm at the mercy of what Mauricio wants to do. So, oh, well, keep me posted. Yeah, I mean it's either gonna be here or at Dougie's. Okay, I'm going to Baltimore tonight. Nice. Murder. Yeah. Stay safe. Why are we'll you be- coming to my Hopefully. city? Hmm. <laughs> why, why are you in my city? Stop. You check in. Is this your you check in? <laughs> nope. I was gonna say, Damn. Did. You like hey. Like he, <laughs> I I know I know I know quite a few people in Baltimore, so I'm all right. Baltimore, yeah, he. Does. Oh, he said he good and then he hood. No, 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 no. He no, gotta no. check in with no. your bitch ass. No, no, no I see my ass in the house. <laughs> but that's what I thought. I'll be okay today. I'm motherfucker gonna drive in the inner harbor and scurry off into a little townhouse. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> the one with the boards on. I got you. All right. So, um, last thing before we get into football. Um, the NBA sent out a memo to all, um, well, well, I guess it was to all 30 teams um, about Damian Lillard and his agent um, saying that they only want to go to Miami and that anywhere else is going to be a problem. 
And they, I guess they did that just so that teams aren't like scared off, but then also as a warning to Dame and his agent, and then also all the other NBA players that don't try this shit. Real quick. Adam Silver's bored, isn't he? (laughs) What team that is not Miami benefits the most for trading for him? Um, And by benefits the most, I guess I mean championship contender. I if he say, wants, if he decides Milwaukee. to play for them, yeah, he, he, like, he he went like let's let's Milwaukee. be honest. They, nah, they no, just, we, we talked about it. You, you call us bluff. Um, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fair. I, who are you getting rid of, Holiday or Middleton? Middleton. Uh, Middleton. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do Holiday, but I hear you. He'd go to uh, New Orleans. I mean, New Orleans was Middleton. New Orleans what I'm thinking about. Yeah, me too. New Orleans, right, right there. Nah, in Boston. Who do you get rid of? Yeah, but do you think whoever you do, except one, except Jason Tatum, whoever you have to, I include the boy, the other paid Brown. Yeah, you just whatever. Yeah. That's what he's going to get paid at somewhere else. So I don't think Portland wants Jalen Brown in that contract right now. I don't think Portland it, has a fucking choice. It, it, it would make perfect sense to me. You put him now. You have one a tradable asset. Then you got a guy through contract until he's what thirty. He's young. He's still young. He's twenty six. The contract goes to until he's thirty one. You have a he. He be your only max player. Really, you don't have a lot of other like. And they didn't need to make up salary. Um, by the time not, that how long enough, after you sign that deal can you trade that player immediately? After I'll, signing the deal, I I don't yeah. think there's a I don't think there's a time limit on that. I do think for it depends on because some of them it's like you gotta wait till the Super Fifteen and shit like that. That's what James is talking about. Oh, yeah, okay. like some some people you just you can't sign yeah. them to that deal and then like trade, trade them. Trade them off. Um, I, I, was sure, I know what James is talking about, but I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not. Sure it's just free agents either, but... or it's extension type of thing. I know what he's talking. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I thought it was an extent. I thought the extensions are good. I thought it was a free agent thing. Well. It might be. I think it is, but I'm, I'm, but I'm not sure. So I didn't want to. I don't. I don't yeah. know. Also, but yeah, weird, what a weird memo to send out right now, right? Yeah, I, I just find it weird in the sense of um, I get the. I don't know if Dame's agents doing a great job of this in the sense of like there, there's always an element of the NBA the same with football to a certain degree, which is that you don't necessarily ever want to trade for a guy that doesn't want to be there. It doesn't really usually make a lot of sense. Um, now, for some guys, you can call their bluff. I don't think Dame is Harden in that sense. Because um, I, I don't think any NBA team would be a damned fool to trade for Harden if he didn't want it to be there. I got another team that would probably win the championship right. if they got I just saw something. Philly. Oh, uh, wait. The Lakers. This might be the wrong thing. The if, Lakers. You don't, if you don't have to give up Brun or AD, if, but see, this is another thing. You give them like Austin Reeves and or D'Angelo Russell or like and so on and, so, and whoever else you got to do and whatever picks you on. If they did, that's that's another like it's a big if. I don't know how the contracts work. I don't know. Um, but like, if you did it and you could get him, I think that's your that's a championship team because the problem has been you got the the, the two to the two brittle boys. Um, with uh, Brian has become a brittle boy in his age. It's only the, because of he's, the brittle, he's like, brittle brothers. From yeah, Tango. The, uh, play like twenty games a year together, and then you have Dame in there to be more of a mainstay, and he'll miss probably like ten to ten to twelve, but not as many as them. And then you know, and I just he's a closer scorer. Where do I go to state. Cut Clay. No. If they didn't have Chris Paul already, I would say. All right, Paul Sander. Yeah, he's but in, like. The Lakers don't need like, to play a full season to make the playoffs, and that's where you need everybody healthy. So, yeah, I don't know. Dame will end up in Miami. It'll just take a little longer. Um, it'll just come to the point where Portland's like, "All right, we just got to move on from this." Right. I think what'll probably be is uh, if uh, what's what's the rook's name? What's Scoot. Cool name? Scoot. 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 Scoot comes out and he performs. I think it's just let's 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 move on. Um, but, all right, so I got something on the extensions. Um, when a veteran signs an extension, the size and length of the extension determine the trade eligibility. Hmm. Teams are permitted to extend and trade players, but such extensions are limited to no more than five percent raise and two additional seasons. 
anything larger like LeBron's extension includes a six month no trade restriction. So Jalen will probably qualify for the six month trade restriction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah so so yeah. Good job, James. Uh, I, no, I didn't know. Like, no, you call, you called in the question. I mean, sure, we all we all had that thought in our head, but you know, yeah. Um, fuck it, trade Tatum. The thing, the thing <laughs> with it is like, if I still want, I, I want Portland to give it like a fifteen game run with Damon Scoop because Scoop's supposed to be a good guy defensively, so it's not as much of a worry. Size thing, you do got two guys who are like six two, six three in your backcourt. That's not ideal, but. If one of them can play defense well enough, you it's not as big of an issue. And so I just wanted to give them a 15 game run. See what it's like. Yo, if they start off, because if you start off like 10 and 5, you're like, uh, I can stay. Eh, I can stay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo. Uh, I, that's the thing to me is that like when when we we had had the conversation, and I think it was tied to what it is that we knew the organization was talking about with Dame, that it was all everybody was on the understanding that if they were to have gotten scoot then that Matt Dame was going to be on the move, right? But I really do think there is an interesting factor having them both on the same team. Um, I think that that could be something. Um, I just think that at this point, it's just Dame has been so loyal to that franchise and they went in a different direction what it is they told them they were going to do, which is fucked. Um, and that's how I think Portland's fucking this up. But I really do think the combination of those two guys could be something. What, are they a championship? No, but, I, but they could be fun. They could be a lot of fun and win some games. Do you? Because I'm because they got a, they still have another tradable asset who I think they should trade regardless, which is Efren and Simons. Um, mm -hmm. And so if I'm 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 Portland, I'm probably looking to move him first and seeing what I can get back. I'm like, yo, all right, who wants him? Like Washington, y'all like y'all like guards, y'all need everything. So like. Take come take Anthony Simons. He can be your sixth man, or you can put him. Or you can start him. I don't think it will be. You know, you can start him next to Bull, um, and then do that. Or but like, I get assets back. I put I. I don't know if you would want to do like Simons for Kuz or some shit like that. I probably wouldn't do that. But like, Maybe. I trade Simons if I could, as soon as I can. Get you. You need a three and D. You need three and D or a center and or a center. Get it. Go get I'm it. I'm not trading Simons unless I know for sure what was happening with the Dame thing. I think you trade Simons regardless because I, 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 I don't. I don't know the point. I I won't. I wouldn't. But. I don't. His. I don't like the. It's his style. It, right if now. you kiss the way he is, yeah, I don't. I don't think he's a good fit with Scoot. Regardless, I don't know what the fit looks like with Scoot with anything right now. Um, I just want to see different combinations and stuff to see what what works. If I'm Portland, it's you're not winning anything right now. Uh, you 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 can be patient through this entire process if you want to. And I would be that. That's what I would do. I'd wait to see and see what the best deal is for me and then go from there. And then if Dan gets hurt, you're fucked. I don't play. But that's the other thing is like, yeah, okay. That's then a risk just, I'll say. Then you just trade him next season. Like what? Dame, Dame is not going to be less Dame yeah, time. He He'd be valued less if he waited a year. He would. Yeah. But if he only wants to go to Miami right now, what is like his value? I feel like is limited anyway. So, yeah, that's true. And that's why I'm like, your 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 return for Miami is diminishing returns. So, yep. I just make sure that Dame is probably on his way out before the end of the calendar year. They better get Jovic if you're going to do it. As long as he is healthy, I get you. All right, so. NFL shit. Let's go. Ooh. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We four, five, six. six stuff. Yep. We got six things to go through. All right. The first thing, I'm a I'm gonna bring it up. You guys tell me what you think, how you feel, and whatever. We can go, we can move on. Um Jalen Ramsey and Joe Burrow getting injured. Jalen Ramsey, bad. Joe Burrow, not as bad. Jalen Ramsey. I feel bad about, but it's given me – it made me secure the Dolphins to miss the playoffs this year. They're not going to make it. Um, what, about, just because, what about Tua's new tattoo that everybody's talking about? Yeah, I, I agree. Um, and because he's still coming off that concussion, so I give him like yeah. – um, but Jalen Ramsey, I feel bad for because uh, the Dolphins are a talented team. Um, and it just would have been interesting, but I, I just I, – there's so much talent in the AFC. Like somebody has to miss the playoffs, and it has to be because because of injury luck and shit like that. 
So it's like, I was like, oh, maybe it'll be the Dolphins this year because they should, because what for whatever reason. Um, thing with Joe Burrow, they were losing that division anyway this year because it's it's fucking over for them. Um, as long as the boy is healthy and the boy being Lamar Jackson, um, because we fucking own them when he's healthy. Um, so I don't really give a shit. But I'm glad I'm glad their season isn't ruined because I didn't want them to like get ruined and be like, oh, y'all only lost because Joe Burrow got hurt, even though they only won the division because Joe Burrow. I mean, because Lamar got hurt, but we don't have to get into it. Um, <clears throat> because every every year they're leading the, the Ravens are leading the division, and then Lamar gets hurt, and then they don't they no longer lead it, and so. Joe Burrow, I'm just glad it's not a long term thing because I want I want that ass whooping to be healthy. I want I want him healthy when we beat that ass. That's how I feel. That's I like the way you put that. Hear that? Uh, were we supposed to compare the two? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just we just talk about we just talk about uh, training camp injuries so far. Yeah, training camp injuries overall is um, they need to go back and look at how they restructure the schedules for training camp and how it is we're ramping up to stuff with what it is they've been doing. The NFL has done everything they possibly can to give us more football and less healthy football players. Mm-hmm. Like um, the, the ramp up from mini camp to then training camp and where it is that these guys have to fit in a very small window and you can't even do the contact that you would typically do in years prior, or at least a few years prior, are just creating a situation where I feel like every year at the start of training camp, we're seeing this shit and it's, it's starting to get really fucking annoying to me. And especially when you're talking about faces of franchise or some of the most popular players in the NFL, who the fuck does that benefit? Um, so I just think that that needs to be something that gets worked out. Um, the Joe Burrow injury, glad that it's not as serious as it looked with the non-contact. Um, I think everybody thought worst case scenario when they brought the card out. Um, so that's good. Um, the dolphins are weird to me. Um, being that they were on the cusp, what set nine and eight last year, everybody, I, every list that I keep saying, they have like their defense rank so fucking high. And they were like, Mm -hmm. they were in the teens last year, if not in the twenties, as far as the defense, um, had some injuries too, though. They, definitely. Um, Josh Allen. Miami, to me, feels like one of those teams that are going to have a regressed year before they get better again. It feels like that might be the case, but I don't know. I Because, look, if you ask me to put – you put a gun in my head and tell me, is Tua going to make it through an entire football season? I would say absolutely not. And who's their, their backup? backup? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. I feel like they signed is, somebody. Is oh, Tyrod Taylor or Teddy? No, hold on. All just him. beacons of hell. Um, but they're not going to be playing the whole time, so. All right, hopefully. Um, oh, Mike White. Talk to Tyrod. Oh, Mike White time. Ah. Well, well hey, look, former former Jets players going to Miami actually kind of work out. Dude, as Mike, quarterback, Mike White's right? got. Mike Remember that Chad Pennington yeah. year? Um, and they have. Yes. Uh, whoa, they also have Skylar Thompson and Fitzy. Uh, so may, maybe that maybe that maybe if Mike White plays, they they could do something. Who's but, that? Uh, Who's that? Mike White Mike from White. the Jets. He came in like yeah, he came in like game three and then like I didn't hate Mike. I don't hate Mike White at all. Me Actually, either. Mike White got some fucking. Uh, he was he was solid. He, was solid. Um, yeah. he came in and won like four straight for the Jets. Right? And you're talking about a a coach who coached for San Francisco and they're known for winning games with whoever the fucking quarterback. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I it, Miami just feels feels to me like it's a regressing, and it's it's not anything on paper. They should have been better with Jalen Ramsey getting hurt. It feels as though it's solidifying that viewpoint just a bit more. Um, yeah, I just I I don't see them having the same fire that they did this year. But when you got a Tyreek Hill on your team and that that coaching staff, I I mean all bets are off. But in that division, Buffalo is still a problem. New England is always going to New England. Um, yeah. and uh, right now, as much as it pains me to say it, the Jets are going to be a problem. No, they're not. Okay. Yes, they are. What's yes, they are. Here? Hey, fucker. Hello. I can't, My thing. I can't hear you guys. Oh. All right. He's got <laughs> that function. Just want to interrupt Hi. a little bit. Hey, friends. I can't eat more. Was, was oh, the, what did say? With the Dolphins, <clears throat> I looked at the schedule. So I looked at their schedule. Mm-hmm. Like, just see, like, if the games Jalen misses are, like, are they playing, playing a lot of, like, teams with, like, good, really good receivers or whatever. And I don't think it'll be – 
it'll be a, it's kind of a regression season, but I think it'll be more so they're kind of in the same in terms of record. So like they went, you said like nine and eight last year. Nine and eight. I, I, I got them going eight and nine this year. I'll just look at their schedule. It gets tougher later in the season. They got a, a lot of tough games: Ravens, Bills, um, Jets. Like kind of like three straight weeks of like, damn brother, <laughs> like <laughs> this is this a tough little gauntlet for you. Yeah. Um, they don't so, have a left tackle. Their t- starting two left tackles are down. Uh, so, yeah. They're so, gonna he's going to miss, hit. like, the first 11 uh, games. Yeah. 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 Yep. I think they're a team who, like, is, like, battles at 500 all season and then just finishes 8-9. 1-1, 3-4, 5-4, 8-7, 8-8, 9-8. Yeah. I mean, they're going to think they'll split with the Bills. Like, I think long-term, a regress season might be great for them. I'm being completely honest. Um, I think it, it, I just think with Mike McDaniel there as head coach, like sometimes you need those, you need, you need, you need those moments to get where you need to be. Um, I think that that could be, I think this year is a learning experience for Miami, but they're not there yet. Yeah. But they're, 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 they're like, that was from last year on paper. Their offense is, they weren't, they were new. They learned. Yeah, but they were new last year, and I, I'm sorry with the with the way the Tua season went through last year. I don't know what the fuck he gleaned from that, other than he shouldn't be playing football. Probably, <laughs> and he's gonna have to fall. But right. Tyreek Hill and Waddle is that's it's a problem. That's fucking insane. Just like just hearing that, I'm like, Ooh. wasn't there a third receiver like the fastest dude on the Cowboys the previous Bra- year, Braxton? Um, man, I don't know. But, I don't know, but to me, the more and more I'm saying Mike White. Oh, they have Cedric Wilson, too. I feel like yeah. Mike White in them could be like a just north of 500 team. Yeah, even even if Tua goes down, Mike White with that receiving core, they can they can, they can can go. They can win eight. They're going to be well, interesting. They're going to be interesting. I'm gonna, they're, they're fun. I'm not going to say they're fun to watch because sometimes they're not. They have fun moments. They'll always be on a highlight every week. Yeah, concussion highlights. No, Tariq Ty- 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 takes it to the fucking house. Come on, Wallace takes it there. Oh, they got Chosen Anderson too. That I hate that. Mostert. Yeah. Mos- yeah, that motherfucker's fast as shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're and they're running back Je- Jeff Wilson and Mostert. I they forgot they had Bradley Chubb. Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. that's why everybody has that defense, man. Yeah, yeah. they got spot. All they right. named they named their so there was some list that came out the other day and it had them as the number one defensive line. I didn't agree with it, but they had it. Forty nine is one hundred percent. It's the it's the Eagles. It's the Eagles. The Eagles it's the are, the Eagles. Are it's, the, be Eagles. it's not. It's nobody else. It's the Eagles. What the fuck are we talking about? Washington. Fuck off. Forty nine ers. I, I oh, Washington's in the top five, and there's yeah. no debating it. Yeah. Man. Who gives a shit? They're irrelevant. He said it until Chase Young go to the Ravens, then it's like oh, they're man. irrelevant. <laughs> he as a player is not. <laughs> Jonathan irrelevant. Allen, Deron Payne, those are irrelevant guys. Huh? Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne are irrelevant. No, 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 no. The oh. the franchise, like it'd be like uh. if you. Say- oh no, we're back, baby. Josh Harris now. It's like like I feel like the Panthers are irrelevant. Like it's like that. It's like I'm excited to, for things for them, but nobody gives a shit in total. Like nobody outside of me who is not a casual fan, but a casual fan isn't like, yo, the Panthers this year. Yeah, see, that's why I know you, you. Yeah, stay ass down in North Carolina because you're a fan of a team that plays second fiddle in this fucking state. Like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's why you had to travel 300 miles to find a fucking football team. I don't hear your shit. Aww. That's oh. how you know about the irrelevance of fucking Carolina. You had to find oh. someone that wasn't relevant. You glom on, oh. son of a bitch. Oh. He's hurting my feelings today. Look at that. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> oh, that's, right. that's, that's, just, that's it. That's it. It's just All right. <laughs> three playoff seasons. Was it three playoff seasons with Snyder? Was it three or five? Was it five? Five out of 24? One playoff win. Yeah. Can't relate to that. Second fiddle. Yeah, I mean, Dan Snyder That's was how bad. How relevant we are, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, let's move, move on. on to another story. Um, Saquon Barkley. The running backs had this whole meeting about the situation with running with 
running back contracts and all that stuff. And then Saquon turns around and signs the damn deal. No, you got like it just four- got like a and not even a billion dollar. It was like a like a six hundred thousand dollar raise. Yeah. It was like a <laughs> with no guarantee. With no guarantee cents. that they won't tag him again next year. Well, the, I can guarantee they won't tag him again next year because it's going to cost too much. Yeah, it's 24 and a half, right? Next year? I think, well, yeah, but what would they say? Like the running back? The, ran- the, like the running the back franchise that... tag is the only one that's going down. Yeah, but even if that's the case, I'm not paying. I'm not paying over $12 million a year for him. So I think the running backs need to just adjust their – expectation i what's happening is they're seeing other groups get paid and austin eckler i think was the one who said this stupid and incorrect thing about how you need a running back to win the championship and then they came out with the list of <laughs> the, the former running back like who won the last few super bowls it's like yeah none of them are top five or even top 10 running backs really and it's like yo you don't really need a running back and so I think they need to adjust their expectations and like be willing to accept, accept and also ask for fully guaranteed contracts, but very much smaller contracts. I think they should ask for five to $8 million a year, but fully guaranteed. I mean, do, Hey, I want a three year, $15 million deal fully guaranteed. Like that's then, where they are. Yeah. That's where they are right now. You're, 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 it's changing. Like the wide receivers are going up. Offensive tackles are going up. Quarterbacks can pay more. Somebody has to lose money. Like some for some position no, they group don't. has to lose money. And no, the, that don't. position group is losing money. The other no, position they group, they're getting talking about this last week, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they don't have to lose money because all the other shit is going up too. That's not true, James. <laughs> it's not true. We know it's not true. The, so the, the salary cap's not going up. That's what, I'm, but that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's the same thing I said last week. Can you name five fullbacks? No. I I can Positions name change. Mm-hmm. And the way that their value changes. Mm-hmm. When we were kids, everybody had a fucking fullback, right? Like yep. I can name, I can rattle off a ton of them. But now right. the, the position itself has just changed. Um, what the, what you need to have as far as in contracts is what you you need more athletes fighting for their for, uh, the money tied to their usage is something that needs to happen more. Yeah, we um, talked about the the different things. That, that right, they, it's the same thing. Yeah. Like Debo Samuel gets treated a very different way than most other wide receivers. Right, he needs to be paid because they treat him like a fucking running back and a wide receiver at times. It's the same thing that Le'Veon Bell fought for uh, years ago. It's the same way that I look at Christian McCaffrey a little bit different than other guys because you asked him to do a bunch of stuff from a usage standpoint. Um, look, the okay. we talked about the player performance fund. That's something that exists. Maybe funnel some more cash into that. And that is a main thing based on usage compared to contract. They have a formula worked out. Do that, and then also get rid of fucking rookie minimum, uh, rookie uh, rookie minimum minimum contract bullshit. Minimum wage scale. It's fucking terrible. It's 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 un-American and it fucking spits in the face of free agency. And then also abolish the fucking franchise tag. They're probably not going to do Abolish the franchise tag. I do think the running backs are the position group that benefits the most from getting rid of the Ricky Way scale because then you get, like, your guy, your 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 J.K. Dobbins, who should not be holding in like he is. Like, he has literally no leverage, bro. You've, paid, you've missed 20 fucking seven games. You don't have a thousand-yard season, my nigga. Like, what, what are you talking about holding in? You want to be paid for what? What, have you, what are you getting paid for? Because you got hurt, motherfucker? That was your fault. That's like, I mean, that wasn't your fault, but that, it, that that's life. That happens. My, my brother, you are in entering year four and you've only played one full season. You need to stop. Make it like, make it make sense, my brother. Like, I know you share an agent with Dalvin Cook, but make it make sense. Like, you're not Dalvin. Like, they're different. They're in a different tier. You're not up there. You need to play. You need to play and prove you can play. And then it's like, yo, well, maybe you'll get paid. But I also think they you need to, they should not expect 10 to $15 million contracts like that, man. They shouldn't. Maybe three year thirty. Three year thirty million dollars. You can do ten. You ten. But see, fully, guaranteed. fully guaranteed. Link, yeah, the fully last the last 30. big contract signings at the running back position, I think we're all looked at like mistakes. They were. Who Zeke, thought, was a, Zeke was one of the biggest mistakes in all the NFL. They were made fun and, of and, relentlessly. Hey, and look how that worked out for fucking Dallas. Horribly. So I mean Horribly. at the at the end of the day, I do feel look. There is always going to be some. I'm nostalgic for fullbacks. Mike Sellers for the was one of my favorite players. I loved fullbacks. Um, Mike Allstop before he fucking changed up. Um, Baltimore had a hell. What's his fucking name? They had a hell of a fullback for a minute. 
I mean, if you look back at like the two thousands when they had the uh the, what, the Jamal Lewis and Priest Holmes and all those motherfuckers, one of them play fullback at some point. Um, so it's like, there, I get nostalgic for that position. I'm gonna be nostalgic that there isn't gonna be the Walter Paytons or the stuff of la- like those those long term rushing yard records will probably never they'll never fall now. But the game has moved on. It's the reason quarterbacks are throwing for a lot more yards than they ever have before, right? Like it's 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 accepted. The game is just changed and it's just it's all part of it and i I just i just feel like there are certain things universally you can do that doesn't just help running backs it helps the league overall and that goes back to the the list i said josh jacobs should definitely be paid that's the only one i i push back on he should get paid his 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 amount of carries are low a 40 a four year he doesn't have that wear and tear on his body I so, get that, but you, you that's you, the important part. It, okay. But the thing about that is so what do you mean? Like that's a, it's oh. production. It's the product like do, do I pay ten million dollars for one guy or get three dudes at under a million dollars that'll all be fresh because I'm gonna continue to rotate to them and I'm gonna be throwing more than I run anyway. So all I really need is what? Then all the stat like I'm one of those dudes that, like uh, defense and running wins championships until fairly recently, where it's just not true. And it, it, all the stats that they have as far as the top running teams win X amount of games, yeah, it's because they usually have fucking leads and they're trying to hold on to them late in games. Like it's a fucking flawed stat. So it's like th- there's a lot of bullshit in it. And a lot. Look at all the great running backs that we've seen in the league recently. How many of them sniff a fucking Super Bowl? Like it's not. It's just not. It's not what it is. It's not what it used to be. When's the last time we had a top flight, uh, a top like a top three running back win a Super Bowl? All right, let's look at the last Super Bowl winners and who they were. Most of them was like what Brady and Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Well, Brady's Brady's not a good running back, but Mahomes is. I'm, I'll pull. I'll pull is, up the Super Bowl winner. It's not that many teams. <laughs> like but see, there's nobody. A... Like only one team has a Mahomes. I'm, I'm not. I'm not asking you to do recently. I want you to go all the way back as far as you want to. Name the last top three running back to win a Super Bowl. But see, like, there's a little bit of a myth to it because I don't think that was ever a thing. It really yeah. wasn't. Like, it's it really habit. wasn't. Even like, even in the heyday, I guess. I guess in the heyday, you might like say, but like, even then, it wasn't like like. Think about the greatest running backs of all time. How many of them really won like, like Super Bowls like that? You know, what I'm saying? like Danny like, Thomason, Not no, no. He was the best. You running gotta back. go to Walter Payton and Emmett. No. and Emmett. Emmett. And, and, Emmett, Emmett and the I'm thing with Emmett is that they also Emmett, had Emmett, Troy and Irvin. Irvin and, mm-hmm. yeah. Like you, it, it was never a thing. It just was like, oh, we need a running back. Let's get it. Let's draft one early because that's easy. And so, because we need a running back, because that's going to be most of our yards and blah blah blah. And it's like, yo. <laughs> so this, <laughs> it's a weird list, but this list, um, they they say that the Super Bowl winners leading rusher, mm-hmm. right? I think everybody's seen the list at least once. Since 2009, mm-hmm. the highest paid leading Super Bowl winning rusher was Percy fucking oh, Harvin. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I hear what you said. Let me guess. Okay. You said since when? 2009? 2009. The the Super Bowl winner leading rusher. In the game the or the season? Win? I think this might be, I don't know, one you or said- the other. Hang on. Yeah, it's good in the game. So in the one, is that Marshawn? Marshawn's team, but not Marshawn, was not the leading rusher in that game. I mean, oh, not in the game. No, 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 no. no. Okay, (laughs) that was Percy Harvin, 2013. So it's like there is an element, uh, and even if you look, like Marshawn went on a hell of a run during that playoffs. Um, There's no denying that. Like he fucking put the team on his back and went through it. Um, and you can usually count on a running back to do that to a certain degree. Ray Rice in Baltimore, um, he had – I mean, Joe Flacco really did most of that because he was fucking lights out. But he had a run. Um, even with Washington in our lowly fucking two uh, – the two times that we went to the two, uh, two roll, uh, the two times we went to the playoffs under Joe Gibbs, it was on the back of Clinton Portis. Portis carried us into the playoffs, and then we lost immediately. So, like, there is – all the best guys that you can think of recently, uh, and that's the thing is, I don't know. Other than that playoff run, was Marsh? Did I ever think of Marshawn as a top three back in the league? I don't think so. Um, I don't think he was ever top three for me. He probably was top five, but I don't think he was top three. 
probably like one or two seasons, maybe one, maybe maybe one. But yeah, so like, it's, I, it's just it's never been a thing. Like he, it, Marshall I, Falk, the God, funny. the God, the oh, fucking God. God. They, they were the, what are we even talking about right now? Isaac fucking know. Bruce. How do we get? How do we huh? get so off track? You said what? They were. The, when they had like Marshall Falk was a part of the greatest show on turf. He yep. they had Big Game Holt and, and Isaac Bruce. I like, love I fucking love Tory Holt. Yeah, but guess do you know I remember about Marshall Falk? Huh? Do you, remember, do you know what I remember most about Marshall Falk? His production was easily replicated by Stephen Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Jackson didn't catch the ball like Marshall Falk. I'm, I'm just saying, not, not receiving. That's fair. Not receiving. Not but I'm just saying, fair. as far as what you're doing running the football, um, Steven Jackson easily like easily replaced that. And then I think there was even another guy after Steven Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. Yeah, was they they had a ra- a running back factory at one point for a little while there. Yeah, there it's was. uh fucking Kansas City, same thing. Free song, Larry Johnson. Need, Johnson. Need Johnson. Running backs. It's like I you just get to a point where running backs where it's like, look, the top talent dudes are always gonna shine through. But what I think is they need to shine through on that rookie deal. You look at like a B. John Robinson right now. Bijan can ask for a lot of fucking guaranteed money off the break. From what I've heard early on in training camp, it doesn't look like the returns are there yet, but he he can demand a lot, and that's what they should do. Because okay. it's like these guys coming right out of college, like you can see, all right, he might be something, and we'll be able to run him, run the fuck out of him for two, three years, and to see what we got. Like that, That's where they're going to get the most bang for the buck. I, ju- I, I really, really hate that the Raiders ruined football forever because they chose wrong with Jamar Shaw. Also, Shut just, fuck up. just in right. context. Let's Reg- go back to 2009. Reggie Gilliam, who is a fullback, he makes $2.3 million a year. I've never heard that name before. Um, <laughs> Super Bowl <laughs> winners, never. like, from 2022 to 2009. 2022 Super Bowl. I can name them all, but go ahead. You, you, th- you said you can? I probably can. Oh, right, so hold on, when? Hold on, I, I'm gonna pull, I want to pull up the list, too. Okay, so we're going to go, like, do you want to do 2009, like the state you said before, or or 2000? We can go 2000. From 2000? All right, do, you do, got Trent Dilfer in 2000. Do 2000. Hold on, what, that was what, defense. That was, yeah, that was yeah, defense. I know, we're going to. Hold so on, what, what, do you, what are you naming? What are you naming? What's your, what are you looking uh, for? The winning QBs. QBs. The QBs that won. Why are we doing that? Because yeah, I want to. To show that the QBs are more important than the running backs. Because I want to. Oh, of course. Right. Everybody... No, no. Wait. Hold You're on. really upset about the Raiders thing. I'm sorry. No. Calm down. Let me just do it. Trent Dilfer, 2000. Then you got Brady, Brad Johnson. Then you got Brady. Brady. Then you got Brady. Brady. Then you got Ben Roethlisberger. Then you got yep. Peyton Manning. Then you got yep. Eli. Then you got Ben right. again. Then you, got Kirby. then you got Aaron Rodgers. His only one. <laughs> then you got Eli. Again. Then you got Flacco. Then you got uh, Russell Wilson. Then you got Brady again. Then you got yep. Peyton again. Then you got, got Brady. Brady again. Then you got Nick Foles. Then you got Brady again. Then you got <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Then you got Brady again. Then you got Stafford. Then you got Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes again. Like, we, we we put this number and saying, like, all right, the running backs are not winning. Well, it's not that many teams are winning. Right, and that's why you pay the quarterback because yeah, all those I'm not nobody's like, running back. It's not, it's not, it's not exclusive where you can only pay one. You can pay both. How many franchises, no, have, how many franchises have won a Super Bowl? That's good. Because that, that was Ravens twice. No, you go the if you go. Uh, how many? Fra- you're talking about just in that. I was yeah, the opposite so way you could name how many. Just from in that time span, he's talking about that's Ravens twice, Bucks twice, Eagles once, um, Steelers twice, uh, Giants twice, um. Patriots six, um, Seahawks once, the Chiefs twice. Chiefs twice. That's eight franchises. Did you say Eagles and I think, you said the Eagles? It's Rams, Rams. Nine. Yeah. Bucks. Nine. You said Bucks. You said Bucks. Huh? You said Bucks. Bucks. Yeah, Bucks twice. Not Broncos. Kind of, I, yeah, I want to include that Bucks Broncos. thing with with the the pages. Broncos and Colts, that's eleven. Broncos and Colts, that's eleven. Eleven out of thirty. For how many years? To twenty to twenty twenty two thousand to two thousand twenty two. It's eleven franchises. It's not terrible. That's, not that's good. That's pretty. This is pretty decent. That's third of the league. Yeah. 
and the other that's some decent that's parody. Not Some dead. of them won more than once. And especially if you want to go way back into the history books, there's like Super Bowls are basically like between two or three teams over decade periods. Maybe three. Yeah, three to four teams over decade periods. That many teams. I get that time, like but 11 you. franchises, but one franchise won six. <laughs> However, one franchise did win six. But, but here, but what's the big takeaway um, about that particular franchise? Uh, they had different running backs every fucking year. Like they, mm-hmm. they did everything they possibly yeah. did to put it together their committee. And LeGarrette Blunt, fucking awesome, knew exactly what his role was to show up and be part of a two headed monster that needed to be good in the short yardage game. And whoever the fucking other guy was going to be didn't really fucking matter. Like the last time the Patriots really gave a shit about that position was what Corey Dillon, and that's their first one. So yeah. it's like, what? They did that with everybody except for the QBs. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, uh, sort of, because they, they I mean, they had loyalty to the wide receivers. They had loyalty to other to other positions. Did I mean, I say as, long as, they, as long as they produced and then you get paid a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I get, but, but even if I'm looking at like other, so, all right, when the Steelers were always known as far as like the, the, the years of the bus. So like Jerome Bettis wins this one, but then who's the running back on their second? Was that Willie Parker? Yeah, Willie Parker, because he had the longest, I don't know if it's still standing, but the longest touchdown run ever. It was Willie 70, Parker was never in the fucking years. conversation oh. being a top 25 running back in the league. So like there's mm. like th- there is an element of like it's to me, it's all about the production aspect of it. Like mm-hmm. if you're going to put the ball in the hands of the running back and you're expecting this guy to like carry you through. You can try to do that. You can win. You will go through a period of time or go through a stretch, but most likely he's going to get hurt or he's going to get worn too fucking far down. And then how long are your legs there for that? And not to mention, it's, you have to throw in this league now. You have to. Yeah. And I mean, it's better than getting like throwing. You can throw and maybe get 15, 20 yards, or you can run it and get seven. Oh my God. <laughs> we went so far on this topic that we already had last week. What else is on the list? Sorry. Yeah. All right. So outside of Saquon being like a double agent and saying like, yeah, I'm with you guys, but I'm I'm getting my money. Um, there is another person that's in is that locker on room. that Zoom call. Yeah, he was. Um, you guys don't know this, but I'm like deep into like the Twitter webs right now about like all this training camp shit. You mean the X, the X webs? Yeah. No, uh, no, 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 no. No, don't want to start that narrative. Um, but it's, it's a, a, a random a random quote um came out from the Raiders training camp about the teams from last year this year. Our punter um said, Yeah, this this year is a way different because we don't have uh divas and head cases on the team anymore. And that was a very interesting quote because AJ Cole's not he he don't he don't really talk like that. So we were trying to figure out who the fuck he's talking about. Davis, Derek. The head case is Darren Waller. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That checks. <laughs> like, oh, like we that checks. We literally everybody that saw the quote that's a fan of the team or just saw the quote in general was spending all yesterday trying to figure out who the fuck he was talking about. It was funny as hell. Um, we finally figured it out probably around like three thirty to four o'clock Eastern time that he was talking about Darren Waller. Well, yeah, it's a guy who has a had a that, terrible uh, drug problem. No, 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 it's not about that. No, but I mean, I just want to say one thing. I just want to highlight one thing. Kada and I kind of, I feel like we figured that out in two seconds, and that just speaks to how dumb your franchises are. are but they, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it took you that long to figure that fuck who the fuck they was talking about. I just that's all because we all lost a lot of people, and <laughs> you don't know our team, and there's a lot of crazy people. On the team. <laughs> if you don't remember. You remember that guy Arnett? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 we had a lot of crazy fucking. Uh, is this Raiders corner? When's Devonte leaving? He's not you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> you mean Jet, right? <laughs> yeah, a stupid ass quote. He's next year, not this year. Like, nah, you don't fucking listen to what? What was it? JP football? Whoever the fuck? ML football? No, but that report came out that it was bullshit. Somebody said yeah, it was bull- like, it's like, come on, like guys, we know that. I'd All say right. I'll take five dollars. So right? I don't like betting on the show, but five dollars that Devonte Adams is not a Raider next season, not this season. Okay. Next season, I'm right. I'm not taking that bet because I agree with it. All right, okay. I got you. I got. Right. You. I don't. I'll take that bet. You want to do that too, Ryan? I mean, uh, Kata. I mean, Kim. 
No, I don't want to bet. I, I want my five dollars because I, I, he might not. He might still be there, but he won't. <laughs> so you want to bet on it then? So mentally gone. No, it's the, I, is it the I, Randy Moss I, season? I'm not. Do you, do you want to bet? Like you, you saying it? Do you want to bet? It's I'm only five dollars. I'm not 100 percent sure. Five dollars though. Hold on, it I, was Randy Moss, right? Randy Moss is the one that said went to the Raiders. And I also game. like my record. I haven't lost against you fucks yet, so I'm not. I'm not right. gonna lose. So come lose now, motherfucker. No, 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 no. All right, fine. Okay. All right, so then we already talked about Waller um, and how like he got hate from the his old locker room. Um, now let's talk about Jonathan Taylor, and um, he need to fucking show up to camp. Him versus Ursay, I don't think it's going to be repaired. I mean, shit. Even his agent already said, like they can, they don't think. He don't see him every day. That's fine. It ain't got to be fucking repaired. I got him in my fucking dynasty fantasy football league. I need results. I need results. We expect results. We need results. Let me ask you this question. I think Jonathan Taylor's rookie deal is up next year. You think he's getting paid? Yeah, I do. If he stays healthy. I do. I think I, I don't think he's getting paid. He's in a different tier than the other guys. It might not be by the Colts, but he get paid. He get paid. I think he'll get paid. Different yeah. tier as three, in like, three years. Who? Like three, like thirty million dollars. Like, like, like I was talking about J.K. Dobbins. Like you got okay. like the or or like the conversation we were having with your friends with Bradley Bill and Damian Lillard. There's a talent difference. Yeah. When you're talking about Jonathan Taylor and the rest of the guy, like the like how K I was saying, like the McCaffreys and the they'll always get paid and stuff like that. I put him why, in that. Why you gotta make that voice when you say it like that? Because he was that's right. right. <laughs> um, and so it's like you know you gotta widen it up a little bit. Um, and then so over here, man. you gotta stewie stewie it up a little bit. Um, <laughs> then you so, can stop. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> See, uh, and so, so I think I put Taylor in that that level of type of running back. I think he'll he'll get paid. It might it might not be what he wants, like fifteen million a year, fourteen million a year. I think he'll get like ten, twelve, but he'll well, get paid. Like the franchise tag. Um, apparently, we offered Josh Jacobs twelve, but the issue wasn't the amount. He of money. <laughs> it wasn't the, the amount of money. It was the guarantees. Yeah, if he if he get if they do a. They what they probably do with running backs is like four year, forty eight million, twenty four million guaranteed. Like they it'd be on some bullshit. Like I don't think anybody knows what's gonna happen with the position until Dalvin gets off the fucking market. And I think the Dalvin Cook thing has been the most interesting thing to me. The years prior, this motherfucker would never be Thank a free you. agent. Um, go to that one next. The 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 Dalvin <laughs> Cook thing to me is, huh. It's wild because he's so he's still young. Like he's still that's, like that's why you know that you know it's broken forever with the Dalvin Cook thing. It's not it's not Zeke. It's Dalvin yeah. Cook. Like it's the mm-hmm. what what does he end up getting? If he ends up with just basically what Saquon got, maybe more millions, and I, there's an argument there, but like if he gets if he ends up signing with one or two year contract, then I think we have we have reached a point of no return for the running back position. And I'm not guaranteeing anyone to get paid anything because I don't know what it'll look like. For you. We know where he's going. We reached it when he when he got released, bro. Like he wasn't he's not even super expensive. He was like a $14 million cap hit. It's like, bro, just like pay the man. <laughs> like just pay the man. But we already know where he's going. I thought he had, he just it was, isn't he he had a visit with New England yes. yesterday. No. no. That's um, Zeke is yeah. going to New England. Uh, well, he's yeah. visiting New England. Uh, Dalvin Cook England. is yeah. visiting with the Jets. Every team in the AFC East. Yeah, I thought but, Dalvin. But um, Aaron Rodgers just restructured his deal, which of course he had to do anyway. Which but was were, fucking like, nuts. They why is part of the reason why they did that was to make room for Dalvin, and I think Dalvin's going to sign with the Jets. Yeah, he, uh, he going to the Jets. Yeah, yeah, which is why the Jets are a problem. Still trying, and, he's still trying to get more money. I think is why he hasn't signed yet. That's my opinion. With the, what is, is, do we know what like that do, do we know what that deal looks like? We have no idea what I it bet, looks like. I bet you he get like six to eight million a year. I bet you he getting like six to eight million a year. Six I think to it'll eight be million. it'll be between eight and ten, in my opinion. How many years? Probably two. Yeah, he he he'll be on contract as long as Aaron Rodgers is on contract. Two year deal. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Two year twenty million. Two year twenty million. I if I was him, I want fully guaranteed. I would want to fully guarantee. Yeah, and, fully guarantee the twenty mil. Yeah, and up front. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll, 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 next year. Right. 
load year one and then if it doesn't work out then you can then get out of the contract and go somewhere else and that's what it boils down to two to three year contracts fully guaranteed cash in and out yeah. running back position for the future yeah it's, they're gonna be, they're they're gonna be like short three year 30 million get fully guaranteed yeah the running back okay. position i want all my money i'll run 200 times a year for you yeah, yeah. it's like a mercenary but, position you just go from team to team literally literally not even mad at that but as long as everybody get their money too um all right so I mean, more players should back. be mercenaries just throwing it out there mercenaries get paid well fucking deadpool's a mercenary it's not like i mean you think about it like corporate america people are mercenaries too they go from one position to the next it, it's kind of like what i was saying with in Dama kong sue i thought sue and um odell i thought odell might do it which is just like <laughs> be the guy what, what the fuck are you talking about um, i'm laughing right i'm laughing at um, Ryan. he's reacting yeah fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> chuckle hut over here um Ryan, why are you laughing? Why what was funny? Indomicong? Yeah, that's what that's exactly. Indomicong. Indomicong. I had never there was nobody letters, never called him Indomicong. There's letters in that, that name that I had not heard before. Comic Con Sue. What do y'all call him? Indomican? <laughs> no, no, there's a G on the end. I like what saying Kong. So you you call them like Kong, like King Kong. Yeah, I know. That's like why I always said it. Like, what, I've what are you always doing? said it that way. Well, you always said it wrong. Have you seen Literally that motherfucker's stuff? neck? He looks like a Donkey Kong character. All right, that's racism. <laughs> Jesus. He used to stomp on people's heads. Suck my dick. The, that's true. <laughs> fucking play your yeah. goddamn violin for Indama Kong. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. All you right. see how I used to say it. There's more races than that. Like Mbappe? In Dalmakung. <laughs> Bruh. What Bruh. are we doing? Bruh. Okay. Um, hey. We talked about the running backs, and now we're going to talk about quarterback. I know. Okay. That that was... That, uh, what? <laughs> Stay focused. Stay focused. Get him out to the center of the Um, I... Do not find this funny. I was wanted this to be known and said in the clip that gets pulled up ten years from now. Yeah, I do not think any of this is funny. Somehow I'm gonna get canceled for it, as you should. There is a white man on there. Canceled. After what Keem said, they're just gonna take my audio and attribute it to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, quarterback season two. We all know it's gonna come out. We just don't know who's gonna be on it. And do, apparently, don't, don't we? No, um, we know who we know who declined. So Justin Fields declined. Um, Tua oh, declined. Announced. It. Sam Howell declined. They announced it. I didn't see it. They announced Sorry, what? Quarter what? like they announced oh. that they're doing quarterback season two that it got renewed. Yes. We just don't know who's going to be the three quarterbacks. Correct. We just Did know you? the people who have declined being on season two. I think that the declines are for season one. No, I pull up the article. I think they the asked, decline. They just asked Sam How, and he said right. no. James is right. Is they, asked, they just asked Sam How. He said no. They asked Tua. He said no. They asked Justin <laughs> Fields multiple times. He said no. They yeah, asked Dak. He said they asked Dak last year. He said no. They asked him like again this year. He said no. Yeah, yeah. James is right. They're declining for this season. They like the the statements that have come out are like, "Hey, do you want to be on quarterback this year?" And they're like, "No, I don't want to do that." Hmm. The only other what's the question? I remember. Well, who do you guys think is going to be on? Jameis Winston. I don't know. I hope Lamar has the. I really want Lamar and Anthony Richardson to do it. Those are my top two. Um, I don't care who they get for the mid quarterback who's not um who's very basic and we care about um and that we Carr. learn to love. Huh? Derek Carr. Yeah, the, the yeah, I probably wouldn't love him because he's a diva apparently. Um, but yeah. So do you think Derek Carr is a diva? I get why they say no. he's a diva. No, I get why. It, not the diva part was mainly more towards Waller. It was only Waller. People don't like Waller. Like, look, here here's a, here's another reason. A diva though? No. Here, here's another reason. People actually fuck with Jim and G. Here's another. Here's another oh yeah, it was it was Waller. Look, because um, 
Darren Waller had the wedding, his wedding, the same day that like I think it was Max Crosby had his, <laughs> and nobody showed up to Darren Waller's wedding. Everybody was at Max's. And then he got married, and then he got traded in New York. And the lady he got married to plays on the Aces. So yeah, nobody likes Waller really, which kind of sucks. I was yeah. rooting. I'm still rooting for him, but yeah, yeah. You know, not everybody's like. So you know, yeah. I thought Derek Carr stuff was that he was always fucking crying and shit. Uh, not nah. that could be like D- the diva element. If he was a diva, the diva element comes in in the fact that. He's like preachy, and yeah, like, but it's actually it, him though. It's not it, Russell Wilson. No, no, it, it, it's not the no one. The, Russell Wilson, it, and authentic. It but could just be like, like preachy, unauthentic. It type could be. Of shit it could be Russell. annoying. That like, is, even if it's, it can be authentic but annoying. Fair, and Kirk annoys people. Huh? He does. Yeah. Um, I was listening to uh, Hunter Renfro's uh, press conference. What'd you say? Your mic keeps like you're getting too loud and it's dropping out like it usually does for me. Also, why are we still talking about the Raiders? Why are we talking about the Raiders? Because I'm going to get my point out and then we can move on. So I was listening to Hunter Renfro's press conference and he said that um, he was talking about Jimmy G and how Jimmy G is like consistent. He's a leader. Yeah, all those things. And it's clear, like it kind of sounds like somewhat of a, a dig at what we had before. No, hundred percent should be. Yeah, so, but Jimmy right, G, so, it's the same thing I was saying for years when he was in San Francisco. When everybody was like, they're going to move on from this that, and the other. He is loved. He's yeah. loved. Yeah. They, they, those guys will fight for him above almost all else. Mm-hmm. Last thing, I think I said this the first time that we talked about uh, NFL quarterback. The only thing I want to make sure happens with NFL quarterback is Russell Wilson not be allowed to be on. Yeah, I it's agree. The only thing I want. I, I want, want him on there so badly. I want him- I do not want him on there. Uh, I want him, him on it. I want them to expose him. Him, Jarrett Stidham. They won't. Because... No, they will. They will. They. Uh, no. That's why I don't want to have happen. Because he will be it... fake enough. And he, his fa- he's not clever. <laughs> he thinks he's clever. He's not clever. Didn't they say that the quarterbacks have the ability to remove anything? They do yeah, that. that's why we didn't see any Jackson Mahomes shit. Right. So anything that would be deemed as exposing Russ. He's not going to put it out. The, the, no, the, the it. point is, is no. that the exposure of Russell Wilson, the exposure of Russell Wilson is just highlighting how fake he is and what he's doing. Yeah. 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 The thing with the thing with Russell Wilson is that he's also not clever in that regard. He will think he's doing the right thing. Yes. He will th- and we will see through that so fucking fast. He will be a walking meme factory. I got they That's portray what I need it. They yeah. play it out like unlimited a- memes. I don't want that. I do. Limited, Mister Unlimited. I'm Ooh. over it, and I want. I I root for Russell Wilson to a certain degree. I just, just. I don't want them together. to win a game this year. I I want Russell. Wilson uh, you got a personal to box. Cook. I know. All They're right. gonna win. I bet you on that. I bet oh. you on that. Oh, is that on your list? What? Sean Payton. Oh shit! Yeah, Sean Payton, yeah, you're a dickhead. Right, right into it. You are yeah. a fucking dickhead. Um, saying the shit that he said about Nathaniel Hackett. Look, it was all true, but you don't okay. say the shit. So he he said I had my fox hat on. No, he's not a dickhead. No, I, I mean I just think Sean Payton's a dickhead in general. But the that was stupid. It was just unnecessary. It, J. Cole, I wouldn't say that you're a hoe, just made a hoe decision. That's all. That's what it is. Yeah, it was That's stupid. It Not a dickhead, dickhead decision. It's definitely stupid. Well, I, I look back, I go back in years with Sean Payton and thinking he's a dickhead. Fair enough. But then he brought the Super Bowl to fucking New Orleans, which is like, okay. But beyond that. Yeah. They shouldn't win a game this year. Okay. He's um, offensive minded, John. Well, you know, he's slightly better, John Gruden. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I don't know. I'm being disrespectful as shit because he's a, he's more talented than him offensively. But yeah, that's what I'm keeping at. That's the energy because I don't really like him. He's a, he's a, he's what they thought Nathaniel Hackett was. <laughs> he's literally that. He's literally what they thought Nathaniel Hackett was, which is but good. he's getting old, isn't he? How old is fucking Sean Payton now? 
Yeah, probably like 60. All right. Last topic. Topic last. Why that confuse me? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Did you guys know that the NFL top 100 is almost over already? Yep. Okay. So, K. you knew. Keen, Ryan, did you guys know? I, did you guys see any of it? Yep. Uh, I saw I saw an egregious list and then I stopped following. Yes. I oh, did, a, did after not was, know. Was, was it number 72 or 78? 71, I think. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, where is this being aired? <laughs> Uh, yes, oh, I didn't know it was being channel. aired. I'm not, I don't know anything about it. Airing. They I just know the air it every year. Like NFL, yeah, network. NFL, NFL network. network is not what it used to be. Yeah, that list is, is egregious. The NFL yeah. network has become it is what happens to like every cable news network. Okay. It's kind of what's happening with the NFL network. There I wish they could just show more classic stuff. I want to see more of the Steve Sable stuff, not the stuff that they're doing oh, that, now, which oh, is yeah, but they stopped doing that. Like it used to be that you turn on if it wasn't for Rich Eisen, you're watching NFL classic shit, right? It wasn't here's a morning show, here's our after the morning argument show, here's us trying to be ESPN just with the NFL. Like it's just yeah, you stop. Basically described even ESPN. though the ESPN do, also do you know what has this, the NFL. Do you know what this NFL top 100 list is? It's ESPN's NBA power rankings before the season starts. Okay, this is the. Anthony it Davis is number two. Right. It generates online buzz through anger. Two in the world. It generates online buzz through anger to keep them relevant going into the season. That's it. That's it. That's the only reason it exists. No one should ever take that list stopped being relevant four years ago. All right. And I might be being fucking like I always look on there to see like the, the interview portions where they like talk about players on my team. But yeah. It is what it is. All right. So final thoughts. Dak Prescott's even on this list. That's <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Uh, Dak's a top hundred guy. So this year we are renewing our fantasy football league. I'm using my final thought this week to figure out some logistics on things. What's gonna be the dues? Are we still doing a hundred? And I opt out. Why do you opt out? I don't want to play. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't get itch- good luck with you guys. Assness. I'm good. I'm good with it. You, you know what's stop. funny? You know what? Team. He's, he's hurting Team. my feelings. He's getting no, muted. Team. Team. <laughs> Team. Brian. That fuck, Brian why said, does that all thing get to me? It's when, legit getting to me. When Ryan said bitch assness, I thought he was going somewhere else with the niss. <laughs> and I was about to leave. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. This is the cancel pod, baby. This is the cancel pod. So fast. He said, "Bitch ass." That's some bitch ass nigga shit. What? That would have. I would have completely forgot about K dot in that moment. I would have. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Good job, Ryan. Take all the limelight off of me. All right. So. All right. So Ryan, you cool with a hundred? This is the pod. I get down a hundred. Because you've been asked for a few years in this league. Uh, Kim, you want to do more than 100? If if everybody's willing, we can raise it. But if they're not, I understand. I'm cool with 100. Minim- 100 minimum, is that's my minimum for doing leagues because there's too much. I have too much talent. And, and it's just to get me in, I need, I need, I need the money. I hate you so much. All right. So then what, was, um, what is your proposal if people want to raise it? 150. Not much more. So 100 or 150. All right, yeah. cool. How many teams? Bitch. 10 to 12, not more than 12. 10 to 12, not more than 12. I think one year we did 14, right? Yeah. Last year yeah. was 14. I was trying to figure out where I finished last year. Six. That was, yeah. All right. I, you did good last year. What are you talking about? I don't remember having fun. Yeah, because you you know you, you, you like losing you to like my dad. You were you that were was what good. it was. I had some really yeah. I started off strong, you and I had good, some like so terrible good. losses. Oh my good. god! Yeah, he lost to the people that they were uh, clowning on during draft night. That shit was funny. Yeah, yeah, it was right, 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 right. All right, so um, ten to twelve. K dot and Ryan, what's your thoughts on how many teams? I don't have any uh, thoughts. Tell me what I owe. Fuck off. All right, and then we're also going to do the last place pays the the winner for I mean the first place of regular season 
um, an extra 50. Okay. Unless they draft Justin Tucker and they get shot. I'm sorry. He still beat you. No denying <laughs> that. I'm going to shoot myself afterwards. Okay. Right. I'm too good at fucking Yahoo fantasy football to let this goddamn league ruin me. <laughs> it's, uh-huh. it's so fuck you. It is getting to me. It's so getting to me. It's like it, I. <laughs> I I guess what my fantasy football name is gonna be. Oh, fuck you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so dead ass. I'm changing it to all now. It's it's gonna be all. Oh. Oh. And my profile picture gonna be a picture of K dot. I'm gonna screenshot this and use that. <laughs> it's it's just this one the angry angry ones like ah. So this is so I have like slight case of OCD and like I'm sorta on a spectrum, whatever. There's like I got I got Florida. fuck you. I got, I do have like mental tics, like a lot of them. And the rage I feel when he does that is seriously fucking affecting me right now. <laughs> I, don't think, oh, I might even get taken. I might need to go take a shower and like take a fucking hydroxyzine after that. He really got to me. Now, <laughs> I don't. I don't usually. I don't like passive aggressiveness. I don't like guilt trips. But that right oh. there is so fucking aggravating to me right now. <laughs> Stop! God damn you, <laughs> dude! Hey, it's, I'm do, like just, shaking. Hey, like, just be like Tyler Creator. Like, just close your eyes. Don't look at the screen. <laughs> If I hear it audibly and it's like stuck in my memory bank, like no, that's not. Oh right. God! I'll send you random voice notes and just say, "Oh, hey, what is- I might have to leave the podcast. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> when y'all when I had to fucking edit shit and all right, mess it out. Hey, so, Keith, so, so who's off. next? <laughs> who's next? Hey, Keith, what does what does the dentist ask you to do when you sit down in the chair? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan got another good line before you fucking wrap three. 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 Piece of shit. <laughs> he went three for three today. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, so who's next? I'll go. Um, Oppenheimer was better the second time I saw it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> I took my headphones off, so I can't hear you guys anymore. So I'm just gonna come back when I come back. Um, Oppenheimer is better the second time I watched it, and I am wondering whether or not it's in my running for my favorite Christopher Nolan movie. Um, I get to go see it one more time before I think I'll make a ruling, but it's climbing the ranks. Dunkirk right now is my number one, but uh. It's truly a momentous movie, and what I've appreciated more than anything afterwards is debates that have been had about my favorite part <laughs> of history and learning. Oh. And uh, I can't hear you guys. I'm sure there's like laughter and oh, um, that's so cute. There's other stuff probably happening. And oh, the Oppenheimer movie. Oh. <laughs> I'll come back now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is the funniest shit ever. This is the funniest shit ever. I swear. I swear. Oh my god. Oh my shit. <laughs> My chest it hurts. Fucking broke me, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> fucking <Is> stop! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! My bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to my fucking therapist. I don't know what this is. <laughs> nah, nah, we want to. I don't know what this is. I don't. I don't understand right. it. It's kind of scary. Right, I don't bad. fucking know. I don't get My it. Bad. I don't we know are, what's happening. We are your friends. <laughs> I feel it physically. <laughs> no, don't. Don't feel that physically. We are your friends. Where does this where oh. does this feeling come from? I don't fucking know, but it hurts. <laughs> Better help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh my
Hey, Doc, this motherfucker kept saying this thing. I can't repeat it to you, but it's what a, <laughs> it's what a dentist asks you to do. <laughs> I can't I can't or, wrap my or, head around it. Or Trey songs. He's like, what what does a dentist actually do? Wait, did, the did sound. Song, if you're saying did motherfucker, that song piss you off? What? The Trey Song song? Like, I've never listened to a Trey Song song in my life. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that didn't do it. All right. I, I love you guys. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna go. My final thought is, I'm just gone. Whatever, whatever it was gonna be, <laughs> that shit is gone. Oh, oh that was God. great. Uh, uh, yeah, like my back of my head hurts from laughing so much. <laughs> so I should go. I should yeah. go. You, you... Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'll try to make this quick. My final thought, uh, um, is just basically about the Drake bars that he sent at Push and for real? Um, on the Travis album. And for <clears throat> real? Huh? And for real? And for real. He said for he's mm, ah, ah, yeah, for real by default. Um, I appreciate the pettiness of Drake because somebody pointed to a line he said a, a while ago, like, I can't wait to buy your shit at auction type shit. Um, I don't really think, I think that's a flex, but also it could be looked at as bitch ass nigga shit because they don't really affect like push like it ain't like his shit is like you know what i'm saying like in foreclosure or some shit like that you know what i'm saying it's just like it's just a thing that happens um but it's 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 dope he said he was gonna do it and he did it um and i'm anticipating a push response so heavily i cannot wait i cannot fucking wait they got a clips album a clips album is coming i feel like it's fucking 2006 i cannot fucking wait i think malice might send some shots too, and I hope I I hope he sends shots at Jim. He and has to. I think I, I'm talking about Malice. I hope I Malice. I'm talking about Malice. Shots yeah, he at has both to. of these niggas. He has to too because they keep playing with Malice's name. But Malice was used to be the better rapper. I don't know if niggas forgot, but Malice was better than Push. Push just yeah. had probably a little bit more flair, but yeah. Malice was better. The Malice verse on that album. What the fuck? Uh, the the what was the what was the last uh, album? Talking about the I walkway. Remember? I mean the. Hey, what's she talking about? God damn it! Hang on. Almost dry. Yeah. Is yeah that what almost, the on push album, or are you talking about uh Kanye album? The uh the um was the Kanye was the Kanye album? It was the gospel. The... No, no, no. I'm talking about something else. Hang uses on. gospel? Like he uses? Is it uses? Yeah, he uses gospel. Because he goes by no malice now, right? I don't know if he changed it back, but he did. He did go to go by no malice, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe he changed it back because niggas need to stop calling malice fucking name. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, Jim Jones and Drake. I hope he do. I'm like excited. I hope they start back. Oh, I pray for you. I, beef. It's almost I dry. It. it was. It's almost dry. Yeah. The the last track on it's almost dry. Yeah, malice, malice sounded fucking incredible. Yeah. Don't make me get my brother. To talk this shit to these niggas is what he's saying, and I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. That's my final thought. I'm excited. A clips album, and Drake is also gonna drop an album that we're hoping he rapping, rapping. He rapping, rapping. Come on now, come on now. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go. Drake said, "Don't push me when I'm in album mode." We gonna see. Ghost Riders, get your resumes ready. Huh? That's weird. <laughs> yeah, facts. What? Say ghost you said writers, ghost writers get, your, get your, your resumes ready. Yeah. Um, right. Kada, is that Patrick behind you on the uh, next to the printer? No, it's a gnome. Yeah. Uh, that shouldn't be bothering me all episode. Could have asked. I will also talk to a therapist because now I just want to say it every time. I just want, like, <laughs> I'm looking at him. And I, I threw wanna... my headphones off because you're. I don't know if you were doing it on purpose. I really couldn't tell. But you, after every fucking sentence, it was your... Now, I know that you do have an um as far as a bit of a verbal crutch, but yeah. that shit was extra on that fucking final thought that I threw my headphones away. It wasn't, but I could still hear it from far away as my <laughs> headphones down there. And I'm he's, like... He's going to be hearing it once shit. this is over. Like, and he's going to wake up with it. In his I'm head. about to leave to go pick my girlfriend up. We're supposed to have an amazing movie night and shit tonight. And I'm going to be in a piss poor mood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to be in a I'm fucking sorry. piss poor... Like, she's going to look at me. She's like, babe, what do you want for dinner? Um, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Don't you goddamn mom me! <laughs> Ooh. 
what, what was wrong? I didn't know what you did. <laughs> I overcooked the roast. Oh my Babe, god. Babe, um, fuck you! <laughs> All right, can I we guess. wrap this shit up? I'm really yes. going to take a shot and oh. take a hydroxy. Wait, um, one last thing. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, During the Angels game last night, Otani hit another, like, his 900th home run, and Matt Chapman went to the coach and goes, why the fuck are we pitching to him? He is the only person on that team that can fucking hit. And if that isn't a reason for Otani to get the fuck out of L.A., I don't know what is. I've been trying to bet on him under a stolen base this game, and it won't open it up for me. They're playing right now. I'm trying to let you live bet it at least. I'm, I just want to add one thing. It just and you be saying shit that deserves, and you know what I'm saying. Like right there, you like I can't get it to do it, and I wanted to be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, you can't. It's just because you you I I just wanted to say that, and so I. I'm All fine. right, guys, y'all have a good one. It's been ASOS 164. Um, I'll upload this whenever. I'm never listening to this episode again. <laughs> the uh, so I hope. Yeah, it's just gonna. I'm gonna try to remember where it started, and I'm just gonna throw the bitch up. Um, fuck everyone, die, fuck it.